rising up to meet the dawn again. Science TV here with Audio Top C. I had a couple of weird questions that I looked up that I'm like, that is a really good question to ask. Okay. Okay. So, if you were going to hide under a table to listen to two people talk, who would they be? Listen to two people talk? Yeah. Could I be obscure? Sure. Alistair Crowley and Israel Regardi. That is a really good answer, actually. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not touching that. <laughs> I can't really talk that. <laughs> After that, no. King. <laughs> the topper. I'd like to hear Alistair. Yeah, that would be really interesting. Just, yeah, like, just, yeah. just to get inside that mind a little bit. Just. All right. Here, there's stories about how he could sit, and he could sit in another room, mm -hmm. and someone could set up a chessboard, and he could call out mm -hmm. his moves while you played, and yeah. he could visualize the whole game. Wow. That's yeah. really incredible. And kick, and kick your ass. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> So what um, is, I don't know, your favorite experience of the weekend, or the day, really, here? Here? Yeah. Um, without being overtly cheesy or <laughs> or, or company man, um, just having the, having the opportunity to do press and be in front of people and yeah. play in front of really large crowds of people that have never seen us before. Right, for um, sure. It's, it's a... It's, a lot of work to try to break a new band. And so these opportunities are like golden. Oh for sure. Um, and then and then to show up in your green room and you've got free beer. Hell yes. Like oh my That's god. The life, oh my right? god, it's been so long. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually in a band myself. This band, I'm ripping my own band shirt. Really? <laughs> yeah. What do you do? I'm a singer screamer. Nice. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. But yeah, so we're like on the ground level, like Well you're local, like you're, okay. so. Good. Well, yeah. we're, we're just one step. Yeah. How about, honestly. We're making some strides. We've only been active for about a year. Yeah. And we're, we've are we been opening for a lot of, like, nationals and doing things. come through and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yep. so Good. we're and that's what I did making in, some strides. In the late 90s, that's what I did with Mudvayne. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I had really, really uh, incredible opportunities to, like, unsign, like, local band, play in front of Anthrax. Yeah. Play in front of um, Ministry. Like crazy stuff like that. I mean, awesome. it goes a long, 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 long way. I mean, that was even before there was ever talk about record contracts and stuff. Right. So if you can get those opportunities, use them to the best that you oh, can. Oh yeah, it's like yeah. just any opportunity you get, you just yeah. gotta take advantage of it. So I mean, something like this for us, being a baby band, to play with all of these. I mean, just even to meet all of the other bands and stuff. With other, yeah. For our for networking. Our, for well, and for our peers to see us and yeah. know, okay, this is a real band. These guys are actually real. Right. This isn't a joke. Like, hey. Yeah, yeah. They're actually they, real. They don't yeah, suck. This yeah, is all right. It's, well, <laughs> Whether or not you like it or you don't like it, you can see that we're that this is a real thing. Right. So. And how you carry yourself is so important with yep. these kinds of things. Especially like for me, like uh, on a smaller level, at, yep. at the level that we're at, or just to, yep. how you purport yourself yep. and, and being as professional as possible. The, the powers that be who sometimes have a lot of control over how things go. Pay, atten right. pay attention to the dependability of the yeah, people you, that they're getting in bed with. Yeah. And you always got to be on your game because you never know yep. who's looking. You never know. <laughs> You don't know who you're talking to. Yeah, exactly. People walking off the stage and you don't you have no It idea. happens all the time. Yeah. Like, I'll be, people will be like, hey, Morgan. And I'm like, hey, hi. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> but, yeah. So, yeah. Um, where... Ask him. What's your favorite okay. What's what's your favorite, What's your your favorite? favorite experience of the day? Um, just the weather. The weather's great. People are out here listening to fucking music, man. And that yeah. is what it's all about. That's the best part yeah. of the day. And just, uh, you know, getting on that stage and getting to play with you and yep. Billy and Greg today was a big thing for me, man. Yeah, this is the best stage we've played on you, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We did that, we ended the, was it the ATR tour that we played on in Cleveland? That was a nice stage. Yeah, that was the Blitz, uh, the Christmas Blitz. That was, yeah, there. that was another radio event, so that was a good stage. But yeah, I mean, great. we've been playing on these, as you know, tiny little stages where we're all on top of each other. Right. And That's for us to fun. actually be able to move around and... and Kind like, of what is breathe, this? breathe. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> great. Yeah, so hell yeah, yeah. So let me turn around and talk to you some because I I tend to get on tangents. So. <laughs> um, That's what interviewing is. Tell me about this. I like this tattoo right here. Oh, um, well, I traded a bass guitar for it because I had no money. Hell yeah. <laughs> and this guy wanted to tattoo me, and so we worked it out. He said, I want to learn how to play, and so I said, Well, I got too many bases in the arsenal, so yeah. we'll, we'll we'll go back to the barter system. How's that? <laughs> Why did you choose that, that design? Um, it's an old story where some old friends of mine all had like wizard tattoos. Yeah. And I never got one and then I, we, we, we busted up, never saw each other for like 20 years. Yeah. And I just wanted to get it, you know? Yeah. Get a so wizard tattoo. Yeah. So I got wizard it. tattoo. Odin. That is awesome. Yeah. 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 So that's the story.
story behind that. Yeah. That's always fun. I love like hearing people's stories about their tattoos because there's there's usually a reason. Sometimes they're just like, fuck it, I liked it, so I got it. But <laughs> there's a lot of times there's stories behind it. Yeah. So it's yeah. neat to hear. And this guy's got he's full. His yeah, I got a body I got a couple, yeah. covered. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I've got like one on my leg that goes like from up here down to my ankle. And, Front and back, so, yeah, yeah, so it's know, yeah. Work. Yeah. I mean, you can see like just the top. He's got a lot. Oh. <laughs> Take it all. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Strip. He's got all that and shit I'm, back there. And I'm covered like all the way. All the way down. down Literally. Down. Literally. <laughs> yeah. My legs and stuff. Sweet. Whole back of my head's done. And, hell yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I'm working on getting sleep yeah, up, but I, it's like I would love a to slow get, process. I'm yeah, talking. I'd love to get more work done, but yeah. it's expensive. Yeah. It's um, no where did you play? Like, did you play yesterday? Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, uh, welcome to Rockville. Was no, it? we played. Uh, we, we were played. the first rock show in this place. It was a, yeah. it was a little Mexican. <laughs> Lines dance. Live. Yeah. Oh really? Lines yes. Live. Yeah, it was a little Mexican uh, dance club that they <laughs> converted, and we were the very first rock show. Yeah. So a lot of the staff was like, they were a little like. Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> kind of like deer in headlights, like, it's like whoa, what yeah, is this yeah, thing? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. It was great. Yeah. That was our first show. Today was the second show. Tomorrow's the third show with yeah. uh, Avatar. No, in... I think tomorrow we're off, and then Avatar is the day after. All right, so, that we're, is so uh, cool. yeah, we're playing with Avatar. So wow, we got a day off. Man. With Go figure. Big yeah. bands that are you know people are seeing. So yesterday was our first headlining tour ever. I mean, our first headlining show. Yeah. Yes. First time we've ever headlined. Yes. Oh yeah. So that was cool. That's really cool. It's really cool to play with Avatar too. I've seen like some video yeah. of them uh, recently, and that was really interesting live. Like, yeah, yeah. Such characters. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. I mean, we're label mates on uh, Napalm. Yeah, we're both on the same label. Oh, both yeah. on the record yeah, label. Which I didn't so realize. So That's we'll get funny. to meet those yeah, guys yeah. and uh, break bread with them and put on a good show. You know. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm upset. That's the name of the game. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Look, going back to like playing the first rock show in a place. I remember we played. My old band played this place. We came up to the place. It's like this restaurant. We're like, okay, yep. is this the right place? Yeah, we walked right in, place. <laughs> walked in all dressed in black, chains, metal yeah, spikes, yeah, 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 yeah. and look around. There's like grandpa's eating dinner. You're yeah, like, yeah. steak smoking. Yeah, yeah there's like yeah. freaking stuffed animals on the wall, yeah. like geese and stuff. We're like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> is this? Yeah. Are we at the right place? We played uh, so much fun. We played uh, <laughs> the trenches of America. We yeah. did a. Uh, we, we did a. Uh, <laughs> A tour with Drowning Pool last February. Oh, nice. And, uh, yeah, we were old friends back in the day. Yeah. And uh, we played a steakhouse in Houston or <laughs> Austin or something. Nice. Like, it's, it was so 70s. It was like, you know, some old guy, you know, cutting his steak with a cigarette in his mouth. Literally. <laughs> literally. literally like, wow. Smoking while he was eating his steak. Yeah, That's straight, crazy. Put his cigarette down, eat a bite. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And we were playing in the room next. Wow. Like, literally, that was the venue. <laughs> That's so weird. The mistake house, this. Yep. Very weird. Extremely surreal. That's it's like a David cool Lynch film or something. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like, what is this? <laughs> what is my life? Yes. Signing off. Click. Click. <laughs> Audio Topsy, buy the album, Natural Causes. Thank you. Thank you.